Honor Roll Music is a musical collective founded by two University of Miami graduates. Nick Zappa and Jay Reed Fossey are young and ambitious entrepreneurs. Our musical career has three components. It's Reed and I as producers, it's a production team, it's a partnership. Scoring commercials and movies and TV shows. And it's, uh, it's our label. Honor World's working label includes several of Miami's most promising young bands, Airship Rocket Ship and Austin New Republic. Honor World grew out of the work Nick and Reed were doing while still in college. A few high-profile placements led to an opportunity that took these young producers to Los Angeles and nearly kept them from Miami for good. We had the friend of Jeff and Rogers, a guy named Ron Fair, who was huge at the time. He just broke by that he was of love. Christina Aguilera, 50 fat dogs. So this guy calls us up, flies us out to LA, gives us a studio at Record Plant, which is one of the best studios that I've ever been built in the store. You pretty much pick up recording artists at some point in the last 20 years, you can't go to the record at Record Plant. So the history and the energy in that building is scary. It's, it's fixed and for us when you walk in there. In Studio A, you have Reed and I, on all, you got Ron there, and then next to you, I mean, Prince is walking on the hall, Theo was in the room next door, you know, where I am, you know, in the back of the world, like, this is getting to be in that place. In this environment, they go to work producing for a film based on the popular brass line of dolls. They rise to the challenges and make an impression over the three weeks they're at work. One of the last times they went to the studio, Ron was like, hey, you know, why don't you guys come over to, um, Open web studios, and uh, they were recording Mary J. Blige for this series of Grammy. And one of the studio, this Reed and I, Ron Fair, he's conducting a 70s person orchestra. Mary J. Blige is singing for the Grammy, with the people that are out of the Grammy, they're in the best of the best in LA, or in the German one. The best of Rangers, the best of Beers, the best composers, the best musicians. And there was like 200 people there that night. He's doing everything out of at its highest level, at its best. So we just like fly in the water. You can imagine that from what we're doing, right? Like, whoa, like, this is really crazy, man. Like, <laughs> and Jimmy Ivey was sitting right next to me, and he's just like, oh, wow. This all kind of left up, and I was like, hey, this, this is really great. We should put it up, you know, you guys are awesome, and you should be out here producing with me and, and making this really happen. And here's how we're going to set it up. So we will be with you guys. We'll hire you out here. You'll work with us. You'll produce that app. And, uh, you know, you'll get your, you'll get a really great set. So I was like, you know, you know, you know, they all got to write up the proposals and how they wanted to do it. And we were like, you know, next people to say. And, uh, then, you know, we got a baby. All right. So, we came back to Miami. They wait. We came to months. The deal collapsed. Devastated but undeterred, they took up the pieces and reorganized. Meanwhile, the music industry falls into a steep decline. Death and drop was 80% of the audience last year. And 75% of the audience. That's crazy. We might have been there. We might have been. Move. You might have been, you know, under contract on a building. You might have been doing this thing for nothing. So, or to only get shut down. If you didn't move up to LA, you would not have to be happy. That baby really bought up enough time for him to step back and realize, okay, we can't do this anymore. So, once something's not working out, we reassess the situation, we strategize differently, and we, we, try, to, we try to make it into a positive. Everybody in LA is trying to be involved in it. Everybody wants to be in it. In Miami, go find it. There's not many. So what you can do is you use that as a framework. You know, you, you capture the city, you capture the audience, strangely right here, but you capture as much as you can, and you run with it. Most people look at Miami and just see all the girls, which I love because they're great, um, the beach and the club. But what they don't see is a place that is perfect to focus. Because there's only so much partying and doing you can do. 
they looked around Miami and saw a wave of young entrepreneurs and emerging creative class that are realizing the potential of this city. One of the most visible enterprises, the local independent record store, Flight Records, run by Lola Rustin. Lola from Flight Records, that, that's someone that really inspired me when I saw the and I thought, hey, you know, that's an inspiring person, and that's something that I kind of want to try to try do, but in a different way. We had a great foundation. We knew everybody that we needed to know. It was a small city, and we were doing a lot of work. Not in Miami. We were doing a lot of work in LA and New York, but we were doing it from Miami. So the, the business has changed so much in the last five years that it allows you to be able to do that. So they went ahead and built it. The space is really, it started out as a, as a, a better than warehouse that was converted into a, a, a extremely creative space that houses five recording studios, a lot of virtual rooms, and offices. And it also has a lounge and a kitchen for eleven purposes so that it can be comfortable in case the artist could be there for 24 hours a day or whatever they need to be. It's a creative mecca, really, is what it is. We were very fortunate to come here and to meet people that was really about fostering and nurturing and building something. I think the big success now is, is, the, is the whole picture. You know, when you walk into a space, you can feel the energy, you can feel like how it got there. These guys have been there for the whole time, they've been there for four years, as long as we've been doing that. We've pretty much just walked into our world. And that's what I'm proud of. I like our team. I really have a team of people that are going to really bring some wonderful things to the world. To learn more about Honor Roll Music, visit honorrollmusic.com. The preceding program was a production of WLRN Public Television.